Welcome to this episode of Talking to Myself News, and now we begin our episode by introducing to you all some very spoiled kids. Brought to you by the classic YouTube channel. That's classic with a K. Really? You know what? Are you serious right now? Get in your room! Get in your room! Are you serious? Pick that up! And then get in your room! In your room! In your room! I love you too, in your room! You don't act like that. You don't act like that. In your room now before I count to three. One. One. Close your door. You're so sad. You're going to be even more sad. Oh my gosh. Now that's how you Seriously. You're not. You're right. You're absolutely right. You're not having the TV tonight. Oh, because she wants her sleep. She wants sleep. Let me see what you're looking for. A little brat. Come on. Go in your room now. You go in your room. Go in your room. I don't care. Don't try. I'm not even doing anything. I haven't even touched you. I haven't even touched you. Let me go. You're not locking yourself in mom's room. Go. No. Now. Go. No. In another room. No. You're not locking yourself in mom's room. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. It's our instant replay! Shall we? Now! No! No, seriously, because it's coming. No! The replay is coming. No! In another room. No! You're not locking yourself in my room. Yes, I am! No, you're not. Yes, I am! I don't think so! Exactly how we should treat our kids these days. Because they're spoiled, and they don't know how good they got it, and they never will. Bottom freaking line. Yeah, that line. And by the way, let's just move onward to another topic now, because I just don't feel like covering this anymore. 
Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah. What do we talk about now? Like, I mean, it could be anything, right? What do we talk about? Spoiled adults. <laughs> ah, shit. And here's my buddy, Jack Osobiak, with another play in 3X. Seriously, though, you're going to want to see this, because this is going to work fine. This is what happens every single day with people on Twitter all day. All day. All day. Stay you right, Jack. Let's play a little sideways. I'll bet you that Trump is indicted by the end of this year. If I lose, I'll treat you to a nice steak dinner at the Capitol Grill. If you lose, dinner's on you. Are you game? Um, John Cooper, I'll take that steak dinner now. John Cooper blocked you! Not a surprise, huh? Fucking pussy. What a pussy. Yeah, kind of reminds me of something, you know? It, it reminds me of something. It's actually pretty simple. Because, you know, this picture says it all. Because it's really the department, it's not the Department of Justice anymore. It's the Department of Just Us. Because we're the only ones that get justice anymore. Everyone else gets fucked at the ass! Donald Trump's tweet from earlier today sums up everything in a freaking nutshell. Seriously though, check it out. These are his words. Congratulations, America. We are now into the second year of the greatest witch hunt in American history. In history. And there is still no collusion and no obstruction. The only collusion was that done by Democrats who were unable to win an election despite the spending of far more money. I mean, they, they spent so much more money than I did, and they still lost. They still lost. I mean, money can buy you happiness, but they can't buy you an election. And, and seriously though, and you wonder why I call them animals. You wonder why I call Hamas animals. You know why I call ISIS animals. Because they don't deserve to be human beings. And the word animals fit them so much more fittingly and appropriately. In eight years, I never uh, had to hire a lawyer. Corliss stepped to his base. Donald Trump has moved the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem. Wait, you like dudes now? I guess so. Ha! Look at the guy with his swastika! Ha! 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 on society. Seriously, what the fuck are they thinking? Almost a sudden yes. Yeah. They always have been. And the left just exposed them to what they fucking are. That's good. Oh my god, this is... Oh man, I gotta see this. I, oh man, hold on. Oh, what the fuck? Red Cliff Award! Yay! He's gonna get a Red Cliff Award for being married to a fucking child molester! This is a joke. Her whole life is a joke. Her family is a joke. The whole Democratic Party is a joke. 
fucking shit. Yeah. Why aren't I 50 <laughs> points ahead, you deplorable little people? Fuck! Because you have no campaign, you never had a campaign, and you never will. Because you're shit at what you do. Oh, and, and by the way, by the way, I have a very, very serious question to ask you, Elisa. And I've asked you this many times with no answer given on your end of the deal. So I ask for the last fucking time. And I'm trying to be polite here. I'm going to ask you, by the way, did you not learn from Barack Obama's failed presidency? Did you not learn from fucking Nixon? Did you not fucking learn from Andrew Jackson and what he did to the indigenous people when he wiped them out most of the way? Well, I have a very, very question. By the way, by the way, by the way, have you have you noticed how shit your foundation is? Because it's absolute shit. I mean, seriously though, you've got to be fucking kidding me. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. You, you'd think, you would think, for whatever fucking reason, that there would be an alternative to this, but it's not. But at the end of the day, what I'm really trying to ask is, actually happened. They were spying on them. And, 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 I mean, look at that. <laughs> How ironic is that, man? And, and, and there's three leadership takeaways <laughs> from the 28th day <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You have a great sense of being it. Yeah, no shit. By the way, what's... What the hell? I mean, it's obvious that this is a whole damn witch hunt. Seriously. The whole damn thing on Trump is a witch hunt, and Obama's the mastermind behind it. So what's winning the entire bastard fucking Democratic Party? Hey, I got a question for you. is a scripted sport, a soap opera, if you will. But what about the most popularizing people in the history? You know, for instance, people like, I don't know, 
Well, Sting technically is not necessarily a catalyst, but other such people pertaining to what he does, like, I don't know, Carter, Vince, Trips, Steph, Cena, Hulk, Dwayne, Mula, Snuka, Hernandez, Snuka, pretty much all those people in general that you see right here that are popping up before your eyes. And in reality, it's not that hard to figure out. To figure out what they have in common. And what, if anything, do they have in common? Well, it's quite simple. They killed wrestling. How many moments do you two get? Honestly, you know, in life. You guys know about Billy Graham, right? The infamously popular evangelist who, for generations on end, preached the word of God exactly as God himself would preach it. This guy was legit. He was the best thing that Christianity in this country ever had, and this world as a whole. But a couple months ago, on a Tuesday, he passed away, and for whatever strange reason, he posted this Facebook message a mere four hours before his death. Listen to this. If you went for a walk in the woods, but then decided to wander off the path, and you found yourself surrounded by a thicket of thorns and poison ivy, who would you blame? Did you blame the person that built the path? No, of course not. Instead, you'd be blaming yourself if you were honest, because you alone are responsible for wandering from the path. In a far deeper way, this is what happens when we decide to leave God out of our lives and abandon Him. For a time, it may seem like wandering away from Him doesn't make any difference necessarily. In fact, in some cases, it may even seem easier and freer. But eventually, it catches up with us just as wandering off that path and into that thicket eventually catches up with you. Honestly, this guy led a great life, but Billy's choice of words here four hours before his death couldn't possibly be worded any better than when he put it when he posted that message on Facebook. This was basically his last Facebook post. Keep that in mind. I'd also like to point out that his son, Franklin Graham, is also a really good preacher and evangelist, but I'm not so sure about whether he'll live up to his father's legacy or not. But we'll find out together, won't we? Meanwhile, we got some other shit to tell you. See, several days ago, I think it was on, what was it, the 17th? Yeah, it was the 17th. I think it was the 16th, actually. But on the 16th, at about 9 a.m., approximately, I got a message on my Twitter feed that said that I'd be suspended and couldn't really access my account for about 12 hours. This is what I had to say about it. Twitter, you failed us. You suspended me for 12 hours today because of three tweets that I made exposing the truth of the deep state which you deliberately choose to collude with daily in a failing attempt to suppress awareness. And now, everybody knows that you're all lying. I actually have Twitter posts that I'm going to continue keeping up until I'm told to do otherwise. For obvious reasons, I'm not going to name what they are, but you know. And also, before you start backpedaling once again and shadow banning people like myself for having the nuts Tell the truth 
that few may ever have the courage to expose. Let all the deplorables in America and throughout the world and I remind you that you're not above the law. Dorsey, Glass, Stone, Williams, I understand that you found the point. I understand that you launched it in 2006 as an alternative to Zuckerberg's Facebook. And my respect for you regarding that is endless and profound. But it was we, the people, the deplorable people who supported you. And yet with all the love that all of us around the world, we call Earth, have given to you, what did you do to it all? You sent it to the proverbial slaughterhouse and turned it into mass-produced meat so you could buy it all in droves and feed your bottomless egos. What? You fed your bottomless egos all for what? Just so you could compete with the now worldwide monopoly that is Google? By the way, Google is owned by their parent company, Alphabet Incorporated, which many people may have never heard of, but there are quite a few videos that explain this. Also, it's actually quite ironic. And how ironic is that, since they bought you and own you now, just like they do with almost every other social media channel online. Now, I'm aware that the four of you obviously never get an ounce of sleep because you supposedly suspectingly, consistently wiretap us all into oblivion, and I know that you're staring into my face right now, and I know you're listening to what I'm saying right now, but at the end of the day, you four share in common what I share in common with every godly creation, every human being, every animal, and so forth. A spirit. The four of you not only share a soul in common with everything that God made, including us human beings, but you also share the same lifeblood, the same planet, which is one of countless quintillions of worlds that God made himself, and the same existential key element. The element, of course, being mortality. But Dorsey, Glass, Stone, Williams, what did you do with all that stuff that God made for you and gave you? What did you do with all that? You flushed it down the toilet to align with the Bavarian Illuminati, the deep state, which by the way is deep in shit. There's a hashtag that I made famous by the way, hashtag deep state deep in shit. You'll understand it more as you look through my feed on Twitter. And all of the other counterparts of Satan's brainwashing region, thus losing and permanently shredding in the fucking shredder, any shred or blot of credibility you originally had to start with. So now, in front of God and everyone else, with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ himself, as a witness, I say to you for plain hindsight, so that everyone can hear me speak on their behalf, as well as mine, the game's over, the jig's up, the fix is in. Why? Well, it's actually simple. You have been exposed. Talking to myself, news is sponsored by M. Dixion, where you can unrace unwanted objects from your photos and replace your photo backgrounds with just a click and much more. I mean, not that it matters, but who cares? And it's also been sponsored by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is made possible by suckers like you. Thank you. Shit.